Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Alphacraft Season 2. And today I have a pretty packed episode. Um, I finished up my house. I've kind of squeezed a bit in here. We have did a little bit of um, uh, collaborative work. We Several of us went to spawn and helped uh, level it a little bit. A lot of digging and taking out of some hills. And that was fun. And so I'm going to show a little bit of that. Then we also, I'm going to show you, we head out looking for where I'm going to have a little uh, personal build base. And it's not that far, but the trek to get there is kind of fun. So I'm showing a little bit of that. So I hope you enjoy. in this morning and apparently I guess I guess the uh, there was a storm my roof is gone so um, yeah I gotta fix this before I can do anything That's all fixed. I lost some of my footage from finishing up the house, but I don't I have no idea what happened to it. It I don't know if it didn't record or somehow I'm not sure. Um but at least this time uh we'll finish up the inside. Let's do a quick little tour. Uh the last time that I was on, I was working on my house here. I got my little farm there, I did a little bit of fishing. So, um, but I haven't finished in here. I've got the floor in. It's oak wood and then it's stripped oak wood. So I put it in as this pattern first. So as you can see, I just sort of um, made it at an angle. Like it was the, to me it looks like, you know, like real wood flooring kind of. Some of you might recognize this floor plan. If you watched my solo series that I just started, so this is the exact same layout as far as the where the walls are, the corners of the walls, and then you walk over here and there's this outdoor area. It's the exact same one as my solo world, the, uh, the southwestern house that I made, except this isn't southwestern. It's just different style. And the, the roof peaks, so, so the southwestern one just had a single sloped roof going up, and then I decided to make this one with peaks and then different materials. Hey, Ferd, how's it going? My, you're dressed up fancy. You almost look like a butler, even holding a white towel. Yeah, was well, it getting kind of cramped in that chest? I bet it's so, huh? There's just a bunch of other friends in there too. <laughs> I don't hear the others complaining, but I guess you, you need a little bit of room. So yeah, here's everybody. Hey guys. Let's not talk about how I got that. Okay, let's sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed. There we go. Uh, I would love to have quartz for my kitchen, but we haven't entered the nether yet that I know of. So I was thinking maybe I could use polished andesite for counters. I get, you know what? Look with, oh, with these colors, I maybe could get away with granite until I get quartz. Let me see, how much do I have? 
kind of works with this, right? Yes. Yes. Where are we gonna put the fridge? I guess the fridge has to go. Sink's gotta go here. I gotta put a tripwire hook there. Okay, we can't have the fridge in front of the window. I guess the only spot for it's right there. everybody I am gonna do a quick tour now that the entire uh, inside of the house is furnished I'm just gonna do a quick run around show you everything then we're gonna run over to spawn because there's a bunch of people over there uh, working and um, we're gonna help clear all right so this is the kitchen uh, saw as I was working on the kitchen and I've got to place myself uh, strategically because there are houses out there that I don't want to spoil but yeah so this is the finished kitchen uh, here is a little dinner table, and then I've um, got a little entryway table and um, couch, sofa. Now I'm using granite for the countertops and the sofa until I get quartz. Once I get quartz, I will switch those out. Got in here, just got a little seat. I really don't know why, uh, just it looked good. Here will be my enchanting area. I, I like how I've set this up. This should be a full enchantment area. I do have everything I need to make my enchantment table. Um, I will just do that after a little while. But yeah, it's uh, it's cozy. I moved my back door. Uh, Drama already posted her house, so it's okay for to see that through the window. Um, my back door was right here. I've just moved it over a little bit. Let's go do a quick tour of the upstairs. So, uh, so I've got just a little chair here, lectern, a, a reading area. That's what it is. It's a, it's a reading area. <laughs> Bookshelf there. So all of my storage is here. My bed here. I've got some things cooking. Let's, let's go ahead and head over to Spawn and see what everybody's doing. Oh, and before we go over to Spawn, um, I almost forgot. I left payment for Sea Love. He does a lot of AFK fishing and I requested a infinity bow, just infinity, to add to my other bow, and a mending fishing rod to add to my others so that I could mend them up myself. I left him a payment here and I believe that he said that the order was fulfilled, so let's take a look. Perfect. Let's grab these. What's this? Ooh, an order receipt. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what he said. Congrats on your new subscribe to Sea Love Gaming Perfect Fishing Rod, a subsidiary of UC Code Sea Love, in the favorite, in the Fortnite item shop, in partnership with Link to channel in the description box. This top of the line fishing rod was handcrafted by Master Fisherman Sea Love Gaming. Only the finest materials were used for you because you seem like the type of person that leaves a like on this very video. <laughs> Do you feel that seven people just to hit the like button on your video at this very second? Not only is this fishing rod great for fish, but it's great for promoting as well. Wow, what a deal. <sighs> Thank you for caring enough to spend your diamonds with this homegrown business. Be on the look for new shops and services offered by the use code CLOVE in the Fortnite item shop team. Wow, that was a lot, but thank you. Thanks for this awesome receipt. I'm gonna keep this. Thank you, CLOVE. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we are uh, helping to Flatten spawn. Uh. So I'm going to speed a little bit of this up. Um, yeah, we worked, uh, a lot of us worked for several hours. Um, just clearing everything. Dirt, gravel, stone, just uh, everything. Um, so uh, we're leveling it to level 67. And um, they had the area marked out already. So yeah, this is, this is a pretty big project, but fun though. We all got to work together. And um, at 
one point I took a little break and went out and hunted and got some food and brought it back. And it was just really fun to work together. And um, yeah, so I just, I can't wait to see what uh, T. Jackson uh, Wild are planning. They've actually got the, the main area of spawn, you know, planned out and they're gonna, I'm sure they're gonna show that. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, we collect stuff, we put it away in chests and just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you a little bit of um, some time lapse as well. A little bit of just flattening it and some fun times as well. Uh, ran into some kinds of mobs. So yeah, here's here was one section. You can see there's uh, three, four of us. Let's see, three or four of us there, and you can see that we're chopping away. And I believe most of us are just using stone picks, stone tools. <laughs> so, and it just it it's a good accomplishment. So here we are, and we're still uh, helping to prepare the spawn area for the builds. And yeah, this is going to be a huge project, so. <laughs> Alright, so after a little bit of time, and look, Louie made it. I have no idea how he got here, but there he is. Hey, Louie! <laughs> he made it and immediately just, uh, just came to spawn just jumped in and started helping that was just amazing but I can't wait to hear what his story was and how he made it here but uh, he joined us and it was awesome hey look a wandering trader Okay, I think we're gonna, let's try trapping him. Um, yeah, let me t just tell them. Oh man, if I hadn't stopped and typed, <laughs> I might have got to, <laughs> I messed that up. Oh, and he just drank his invisibility potion. Oh, that was a weird sound. I don't know what happened there, some lag. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, hurry up. Oh, he keeps moving. <laughs> All right, this is going to have to be a collective effort, I think. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're all, <laughs> we're all trying to get him. Huh? No. Ugh. <laughs> this guy does not want to be caught. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I think Frill's got got the right idea. Let's dig, dig him in a hole. Make him. Oh no 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 no! Don't go. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to just uh, dig the hole. There we go. Now he's. We gotta make sure he can't step up. There we go. We got him. <laughs> Yay! Teamwork. Trapped the trap the llama guy. Okay, he'll be safe in that little hole. All right, off we go. Let's go find a little area where we can build. I know what we're gonna do. I need a mega taiga. So with the puzzle, and yeah, we're gonna build something enchanted. So that's what we need a mega taiga for. Let's go.
getting excited for this area. I really, really like it. I am definitely gonna stick here. We need to set up shop. Um, I know what I would like to make for my personal little house. And I think right here, let's go ahead and turn those off. I think right here, I'll have to terraform, terraform just a little bit. I think right here is gonna be a really good spot. It's close to the water. It's like a little bit of land here. I don't need a terribly huge house that's gonna be mine. I'm really excited to get started on it. So many ideas, so many ideas. This is gonna be a great season, I'm excited. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do. So let's put our temporary stuff right over here. Oh, I hate to waste these burns, but I don't have any shears, do I? I have iron, but I don't have any more space for anything. So let's go ahead, place a bed. Let's make our crafting table. And we're gonna have to make a furnace and a couple of chests, and this will be my temporary little uh, place to stay until I build my house, which could be a little while, but hey, it's all right. All right, you sit, whoops. No, oh man, I'm trying to get you to sit. Did I just lose? Did you see? I just lost a, uh, a furnace. Oh man, dang it just, oh no, it's there. That is really weird. It came back into my inventory. All right, there's some weird things going on, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and make a double chest. Um, let's put it here. Let's go ahead and light up the area. So, I found a place to settle. Super excited. Um, but it's not too far. It's it's a quick run from spawn, especially when we get the nether set up. And, um, because there's a lot to do there. And they, we've just got a lot of stuff planned. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of people working together. At least that's the plan. So, I'm settled. I think I like this place. All right, so I have come back to the village house just because um, even though I've found my new area and I've set up there, uh, I'm just not ready to, um, to actually start really anything there. I may go there just for mining sessions, uh, mining and caving, just because I really need resources and uh, we're not allowed to mine here, although I've gone down into the mine shaft and gotten resources um, just from the caves down there and everything, which is uh, allowable. But yeah, I need, I need stuff. I need resources. So I may go there um, a few times here and there in between. I, I like my house here in the village and uh, I'm just, I'm excited to, to stay here and uh, just see a lot of the apples as we begin building the spawn area. So I'm really glad that my area is not too terribly far. So once the nether is set up, it'll be a really quick run back and forth. So really easy to be able to go back to my place, do some things and be able to come back and help with stuff. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I, I really, really like how I've, I've just set up my house here. I just, I really love it. And I love all of the other houses. I can't spoil some of them. Some of them are, all of them are looking really, really great. So anyway, uh, go watch the other episodes. See, see their episodes. I believe they're, they're getting set up as well. So thank you again for watching. If you like, thanks for liking. And if you don't want to miss further episodes, just hit the subscribe button and change the bell options to on. So I'm going to sign out here and I'll see y'all the next episode. Bye.